Hello, you're welcome back to the channel and thanks for joining. Let's look at the top 10 Linux network troubleshooting commands. The first command we are going to look at is ping. So I have two servers here. Uh, this, the first one and the second terminal here, the second tab is the other server. So ping is basically saying uh, we are trying to check connectivity. If you, if you have the IP address of the other server, in this case, we can check what the IP address is with ifconfig. So if you know the IP address or the host name of the server, then you can use that. So ping to see if there is reachability. Yes, there is. Uh, we are getting a response from the server that's ping the second command is ifconfig which i just used now so ifconfig will tell you if uh, the ip address has been assigned to a particular interface you see a list of all the interfaces you see your ip address uh, subnet mask as well as your broadcast address you can also get uh, mac address information or ipv6 uh, information so that's ifconfig the third one number three is more of a tool so it checks a uh, throughput between two communication uh, two two links so that's iperf so it's iperf3 now first you need to start the server just say iperf3 dash s so you're starting the server you can see the server is listening and it's waiting for communications to come in so service listening on this port 5201 that's the default port but you can change that if you want then on the client you you do iperf dash c so this is the client and you put the server ip address uh, the server ip address let me let's recall the command yes so this is the server ip address so we can just say iperf iperf3 this is the client and this is the server ip address hit enter you can see it's connecting to, to host at uh, uh, this port 5201 and it's sending this the packets it's sending the transfer the bitrate the window so you can the final you can see the final uh, the transfer this is the 3.46 gigabytes, uh, the bit rate uh, 2.97 from the sender and to the receiver. So you get to know what's the, what's the capacity of your link. The next command is net start, so network statistics. So net start dash tolpen, so T-L-P-N. So you're saying TCP ports UDP and you, you're trying to see what's listening and the processes and numeric value so if i hit enter you get uh, we we have um, all this uh, information about is it tcp udp connections for ipv6 tcp6 and tcp4 that's the normal tcp we're used to local address foreign address the state of the connections the uh, pid and the uh, program name the next command we're going to check is um, route the route command so if i say route just route you get the routing table of uh, the kernel so if i do route dash n you get more information like uh, what's the, the the gateway so this like a default route is going through this gateway and then the the mask what's the interface this is a vm running on my machine so we don't have much uh, network connectivity we don't have much uh, networks on the routing table the next command is uh, tcp dump so tcp dump will give you statistics about an interface network connection so we can say ifconfig just to see what's our interface name so tcp so our interface is eamp -E let me get let me grab that so tcp dump dash i i is the interface so we want to if i hit enter now we should have uh, 
like tons of messages that are coming from that interface information about the connection so that's going to keep uh, uh dropping as long as we do not interrupt that but we can capture this in a pickup file in a packet capture uh, file so capturing this you can see for the few seconds we let this run we have two seven one packets that we captured and then 275 packets received by the filter no packets dropped by the kernel so you can use this to check if there's been any packet drops or if if you're getting some sort of packets that you shouldn't be getting uh using tcp dump you can capture the packets and write them to like an output so let's call this output dot pickup for instance so if i say output dot pickup you can see it's listening on the, the that in, on that port and i can stop that control c for that for the few seconds 12 packets were received if i do an ls now that file is there so you can use a tool like um, wireshark to analyze this packet capture the next command we're going to see is ls of so list this is list open file so ls of if i hit enter these are all the open files currently on this system so open files by users by processes so ls of dash u will list uh, dash u then i need to specify the user one of the users i have on this server is uh, server zero zero one user so if i hit enter you it will show me all the processes uh, all the files that have been opened by this particular user that's that's a lot because essentially i'm using this user as the main uh, user on this server next command is ns lookup so ns lookup this will query dns servers to resolve domain names so ns lookup we can say ns lookup just google simple one let's not so it will tell you server this 40, uh, 41.1 is my default gateway here it's the network that this vm is connecting to that's the internal network then from google this the address google.com that's the domain name and then the, the ip address that i'm currently reaching google at so this another one the domain name then the ipv6 address as well you get to see that the next command is trace route so trace route you trace the route that packets take to reach their destination basically so if i say trace route let's still use google.com so trace route it's going to try and tell me all the hops that uh, packets my packets from this particular vm take the parts they take to get to google.com the first one is 64.1 that's the ip address we saw earlier which is the ip address of the internal network that my vm is connected to then it gets to the sky router dot home this is essentially my home broadband uh, connection and it goes from there it keeps and then you get to see the time it takes uh, 18 milliseconds starts from 0 0.3 because that's a direct connection then to my router it get it goes till it gets to it shows you what happens till it gets to all the hops it goes through before it gets to google.com and the last uh, command we are looking we are going to see is the arp command arp is address resolution protocol essentially a mapping of ip address to mac addresses so arp dash n it's just to say what's what what's the app entry that's apparently on the system that this server knows about so uh, since we got we, we we have only one interface that's connected right now so this the interface of the my default gateway and then this my ip address and this the mac address that are associated with 
these IP addresses. You can add static MAC addresses or uh, delete entries as needed. That's essentially it. So I would like to thank you for watching and please do subscribe, turn on the notification for similar content. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.